Welcome to Color Slate, the only late night science news show. Tonight we'll be answering a call asking about spiders and their relatives. With us is a world-renowned scientist, Dr. Thor X7. So, as portrayed by the media, spiders can be very frightening. What is your take on this? And what makes spiders so unique? Well, I think that spiders are very interesting creatures. Spiders and their relatives make up the subphylum Chalicerate. Interesting. What exactly makes a Chalicerate a, well, a Chalicerate? Well, as the name states, spiders and their relatives have Chalicerate, which are really just fangs used to grab and paralyze prey. They are also unique because they have two body parts and four pairs of legs. Wow! And what are these body parts? Well, unlike other arthropods, like the insect, which has a head, thorax, and the abdomen, spiders and their relatives have the head and thorax combined into the cephalothorax. Okay, well, now that we've established what they are, let's look into their form and function. Form and function. Well, to start out, spiders get their food in a variety of ways. First, some spilling webs of silk to catch flying prey. Others, like the tarantula, stalk and then pounce on their prey. Even others lie in a disguised burrow waiting to leap out and grab anyone too close. Interesting. I never knew how creative those little things were. Well, it's about the time of the show where we recognize our sponsors. This podcast is sponsored by Spinner Arts Web Design. Our talented crew of eight-legged creatives use this latest in silk technologies to make your website secure. The latest version has security features that are even stronger than steel. Even if you're old-fashioned and don't have a spot to put up a web, our workers can use our silk software to create protection for your young children, devices to help you get around, or even nets to trap your enemies. So get up and call 1-800-11-SPIDER to schedule a design consultation. Let's keep looking about how the rest of the spider's bodies work. Okay, let's breeze through these. I've got three things. First, respiration. I bet you never knew that spiders were always reading. They breathe through an organ called a book lung or a book gill. Two, circulatory. Okay, so spiders and their relatives have an open circulatory system. This means that unlike humans, the blood flows throughout the body and makes contact with the organs, kind of like our lymph system. Three, response. In spiders and their relatives, most of the nervous system is concentrated in one end of the body, leading to the development of a brain in a process called cephalization. Let's quickly take a look at some of the different types of animals in this category. Okay, we don't have much time, so we'll just run through a few of these. First, some spiders. The largest spider is the camel spider. As seen here, these live in the desert, can grow up to 8 inches long, and can run up to 10 miles per hour. Next, the tarantula. It has a big reputation because it's large and hairy, but did you know that its bite actually isn't all that dangerous? It's no worse than a bee sting. Lastly, there's the daddy longwings. We've all heard the myth that they're the most poisonous, but actually there is no evidence suggesting that. Sorry. The most unique relative is the horseshoe crabs. About the size of a frying pan, they are among the oldest living arthropods and live on the east coast. For something more useful, let's look at ticks. Around here you can find two main types of ticks. The wood tick, which is larger, and the deer tick, which is smaller. Watch out if you get a deer tick, because it may be carrying Lyme's disease, something you really don't want. Finally, mites are relatives. Want some interesting facts? A typical mattress can have anywhere from 100,000 to 10 million mites inside. Also, roughly 10% of a two-year-old Pelo's weight is made of dead mites and their droppings. Thank you, Doctor. That was just what we wanted to hear. I hope you're not spinning me a yarn. Nope. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Thank you, Doctor, for sharing with us more than we wanted to know about spiders and their relatives. Until next time, this is Bob on Color Slate TV.